Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to greet chat visitors in Salesforce whenever we are utilizing Einstein bot without pre-chat and if we are using Experience Cloud site. Um, the assumption for this uh, video is uh, we are going to consider only logged in users. In the Experience Cloud site, if you are logged in into the Experience Cloud site, then we will have the user ID information or the first name and last name information uh, using which we can greet the uh, visitor when uh, whenever the chat is uh, routed to a Einstein bot. So let's see how to achieve that. The first step is create a custom field where we are going to store the name of the visitor. We are going to use this uh, custom field so that uh, it will be stored on the chat transcript and also it will be very helpful um, when creating a context variable to refer it on the Einstein bot. So create a field where you are going to store the name of the visitor in the chat transcript object. So I created a field with the name uh, uh, name and the API name is name underscore underscore C and it is on my chat transcript object. So the field creation is done. Next, create this Visual Force page. In this Visual Force page, I am setting the body um, CSS with the white because whenever we add a Visual Force page on the Experience Cloud site, it will have a gray background. So in order to override the gray background with white, I'm using this CSS. Next, I'm using uh, a simple JavaScript where I'm getting the first name and the last name of the logged in user using the user.firstname ex uh, expression and user.lastname expression. I have added a console.log statement so that I can find out who is the uh, logged in user. I'm using session storage dot set item with the key as current user full name with the full name which was constructed using this expressions i'm using session storage dot set item because when the chat is initiated i have to pass this uh, uh, to the bot uh, so in order to have uh, uh, values when the chat is initiated i'm using this session storage so when the experience cloud site is loaded, the visual force page will be loaded and using this session storage dot set item, it will store the full name of the user. So this visual force page has to be created. So I created this visual force page. Make sure this available for lightning experience, experience builder sites and the mobile app option is enabled so that this visual force page can be added on the experience cloud site. Next, create a JavaScript file with this code. In this code, what I'm doing is when the chat is initialized, this code will also get executed. Since I'm not using pre-chat, I'm just using extra pre-chat form details and then I'm passing the label as name, value as uh, uh, name, and the transcript field is name underscore underscore C. The value, whenever we initiate a chat, this name will be populated with this name variable in this JavaScript. Let's see how that is uh, captured. So when this window uh, underscore snap in snippet settings file is executed, first time just having a console.log statement that the code from the static resource is loaded. I'm using a variable called name using the session storage dot get item i'm getting the current user full name this was set by the visual force page from the visual force page it is set to session storage and using the session storage i'm getting the value of the user and uh, a simple console dot log statement to find out the name of the user if the name is valid and if it is not null if it is not, uh, if it is defined properly, if it is not undefined, then it will go inside this if condition and then it will pass that value to this 
name underscore underscore C chart transcript field and then it will be stored. So this is how the static resource will look. So I created the static resource. Make sure the cache control is public. The next step is note down the static resource name and go to your experience cloud site in the embedded service chart component in the snippet settings file property add your static resource name once this is done add the visual force page also just before the embedded service chat so that the visual force page will load first it will set the full name of the user using uh, the session storage and then uh, uh, when the chat is initialized this particular code J javascript code will be executed it will pass the name value uh, with the full name whatever we captured using the visual force page next step is we have to extract the bot we are going to create a context variable in the bot so try to extract your bot using the package.xml you can use vs code you can use ant tool um, however you want you can use uh, and you can export your bot once the bot is exported you have to add this context variables um, so here i am using uh, label as transcript name developer name is transcript name without space type as text and for the field name i am using live chat transcript dot name underscore underscore c so it will create a field in the bot and in the bot it will have this value that is stored in the chat transcript when we initiate a um, um, uh, when we initiate a chat it will store the name in this uh, name underscore underscore c on the chat transcript object so that value will be stored in this uh, context variable so that is the purpose of this so this is how your package.xml should look once this is uh, uh, changes are done deploy the bot once the bot is deployed go to your einstein bot and make sure that uh, this context variable is created if you directly go to your bot and create a new context variable it will not help because we need to set this field name live chat transcript dot name underscore underscore c in order to set this you have to export the bot and then you have to add this particular piece of code to add the chat transcript name to this transcript name variable I also created another variable in my bot called name. It is a custom variable of type text. In the welcome dialog, I'm using rule action. In the rule action, I'm using set variable. Source of the value is transcript name, which is the context variable. And name is my custom variable. And here I have a message stating that hi, the name of the uh, user who started this chat i am a chatbot a digital assistant so if in the visual force page i'm getting the full name of the user i'm storing it on a session storage in the javascript file i'm reading the um, session storage and then i am passing the name to the chat transcript object in the field name underscore underscore c in the bot using context variable i am getting the value and in the dialog i am using the set variable so that it will store the name of the uh, user in this name variable so once this is also done we can directly refer the variable in the message so that it will greet the user okay one more important thing uh, what we have to do is go to your embedded service uh, deployment in the chat settings click edit in the additional branding click edit go to labels select waiting in the chat state select queue position displayed 
and instead of hello comma zero use your custom message here if we use uh, if you don't do that it will say hello guest but we have already logged in as an user so it should not say hello comma guest so we are customizing the uh, label to avoid that issue so once this is also done we can check and uh, test it out let me reload the page now the visual force page is loaded and it says that the full name of the user is admin user the session storage is also should be there so using the visual force page we stored it on the session storage now when I initiate the chat the JavaScript file will load and then it will store the value in the chat transcript so that the bot can refer it so this is all coming from bot now please check the video description in the video description I have shared my blog post from the blog post you should be able to get all the sample visual force page javascript and other screenshots which were referenced in this video i hope it was helpful thank you for watching